you can't miss anything like this. Like the chance to see the frogs in person on this season, you can't miss it. Your 2022 Fiesta Bowl champions are officially home. It's been great for the city of Fort Worth, it's been great for everybody, and it's just a good time to be a frog fan right now. Here in the line because they just came home, so. TCU fans, big and small. Go Frogs! Waited outside the stadium to welcome the team back to Fort Worth. They've just been working really hard, emptying the tank. Some even snagging some autographs. I have the kicker here, and I have number 47. After Saturday's upset win in that wild CFP semifinal. Every commentator around the country picked Michigan. No one thought we could do it except the TCU faithful. Really happy because their big game in Phoenix where they won over Michigan, so. That's right, girl. Super great. But Frog fans still haven't gotten over the emotional roller coaster that was Saturday's game. There's like huge excitement and then complete terror, just constantly back and forth. <laughs> and then here we are, oh, it's a nail biter, another one. And they're ready to watch it all over again. Next up, a date with Georgia in the national championship on January 9th. It is insane because it's just like amazing because they're going. The Crowley family already has their tickets for California. And there's no doubt they'll be rocking those hypnotoad hoodies. We haven't lost since I've had it on. Unfortunately, I missed the Big 12 championship game and I wasn't there and that's why we lost. Born in every other game, and I'll be wearing it in LA in SoFi Stadium and on next Monday. The season isn't over yet. Just one more game. That's why we love this team, because you never know what's going to happen. In Fort Worth, we're going to beat Georgia. I'm Ariel Potencia.